to, we are now at like day, I don't even know, of this quarantine thing. Um, not doing too good, not doing too good. I wanna get out of here. Um, I'm on the verge of losing my mind. <sighs> but um, yeah. I'm back with another recipe though. Today I'm gonna be making the ribs. Um, I post it on my story a lot and I make different posts about it and I know you guys wanna know the recipe and how I make it, blah, 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 blah. So we can get into that today. All right, so before I begin, um, I just wanna say like, That's my professor in the back, I'm in class right now. Um, so, ribs, very easy. You're going to boil the meat with lemon juice, and then you're going to season the meat, and then you're gonna pour the seasoning on top of the meat. Then you put it in the oven, and then you eat it. Okay, so now I'm going to wash my hands. That'll be step number one, and then, um, All right, now I'm going to put water inside of the pot and lemon juice. When you're done putting the water in there, it should look like this. You see, I don't have it filled all the way up to the rim because when it starts to boil, it'll rise and it's, you're gonna have some type of foaming um, happen too. So you don't wanna add too much water where it overflows outside of the pot. Now I'm just gonna put it on the stove and start making the seasoning. Okay, now it's time for the best part, seasoning. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna show you guys, I pan around all of the seasoning that I do use. Since I do not know the measurements, what I can tell you is this. I use a, a little, you know, bowl like this to, to season. What I do is, I sprinkle the seasoning all the way down, that's it. Just like this. Some of them, I might do two sprinkles, might be more than others. And that's gonna be specifically for the pork barrel BBQ seasoning. That's like a rub seasoning. The steak seasoning here. And this other rub seasoning right here. All right, so these are my dry ingredients. Since there are a lot, what I'm gonna do is put each one in the description box. Here are my wet ingredients over here. Birthday, he took a picture of her, and she was like, Tom her job is there. She works there. And it's 15 minutes away from the house. I know. Um, <laughs> oh, wait, wait, is that Okay, I now have all the seasoning inside of the bowl, but I wanted to show you what my very last step, uh, which is the heavy cream. The heavy cream is like the key ingredient here to making the actual sauce. So, this is what it's looking like with just all the seasoning in there. Um, it has some wet ingredients, hence why you can see a little shake. But right now, I'm gonna just pour the heavy cream. I start off small so I can mix it up. And now you see it turning that orangey color that I usually post on um, Twitter or like my Instagram story. Okay, so now it's looking kind of Thick. Um, thickness is cool. It's not too. It's not terribly thick, which is good. But I feel like it's like too little. I don't know if this is gonna be enough for three slabs. I don't know what I did differently, but um, if it comes down to me having to make more, I'll just make more. It's whatever. So there you go. That's the seasoning. All right. The ribs are still boiling, and this is what it's looking like. Like I said, you have that little bit of foaming in there, and the ribs are just getting brown, so just let it be. Um, 
you can let it boil for as long as you want to. It doesn't necessarily matter. Um, it all depends on how soft you want it. That's it. Okay, um, I just had these ribs overflow and almost um, um, ruined my laptop. So there's that. So now I'm just gonna check it um, and see what's up in this pot because that was scary. Looking pretty good if you ask me. I'm like, look at that. I guess I'm just gonna move it around. Um, personally, I feel like they could boil more. Here's another piece. So, um, I don't know how many minutes it's been. I probably should have been tracking that, but hey, what can you do? Yeah, they look pretty good. They look pretty good, so, I don't know, just keep on letting them boil until it gets super soft to your liking. Okay, so now I'm going to preheat the oven because the ribs, I feel like they've boiled enough. It's like getting pretty soft at this point. So, yeah. Okay, so um, preheat. I'm going to do steam roast. Um, if you could bake it, broil it, roast it, whatever, steam roast is best for me because um, I feel like it keeps all the moisture and like keeps it juicy and stuff. So that's what I'm about to do right now. Steam roast for 350 degrees. Um, gonna let that go. And yeah, that's it. All right, so now I feel like the ribs have boiled enough. So what I'm gonna do is take them out, put them in the pan, and pour the seasoning mixture on top of it, rub it all together, and put it in the oven. This should be the final result of you boiling the ribs. Very brown, it looks very soft. Um, ready to just be in the oven. And that's all, yep. Right, the oven has now hit 350 degrees, so I'm just going to pour the mixture on top of the um, ribs, and then I'm just going to spread it out. Um, I don't really feel like rubbing it in, so let's get that. Okay, this is what it looks like. Before it goes in the oven. All right, this is 15 minutes in the oven. Steam roast, it is now complete. All right, and this is what your final product should look like. All right, this is the final product of the rib. I'm gonna show you what the inside looks like. Okay, and this is what your inside should look like. There you have it, folks, ribs.